Could you imagine if they actually won it like five or six years ago when they used to travel around like a rock and roll band? They Could you imagine? Yeah, they, they might be dead. Could you imagine? <laughs> Unbelievable. Nick mentions back when he was a kid, we've had the good luxury of knowing these two among the elder statesmen of the Capitals all the way back to when they were kids, to when they were teenagers, and there was always a part of me that wondered, what would it be like, how would he celebrate if he actually won the Stanley Cup? Well, the last four and five days, you've seen him run the city streets, and you've seen him share all of your joy, all of your elation. He made it the People's Cup. He is the greatest goal scorer of this generation. He is your captain, and he's a Stanley Cup champion. What's up, babes? <laughs> My teammates love it, babes. You know, like holds, throw me under the bus, under the train. Actually, look at this. Look at this people who's here. Yeah! You know, like uh, you thought it's gonna be crazy, but it's uh, it's basically nuts. You know, like, you guys killing it. Yeah! You just bring for us, for our families, for moms, dads, brothers, wives, kids. It just happens because they they support as much as you are. They are all was all in, and we want to say thanks for our families and for you guys. Thank you very much, babes. Babe. Thank you, thank you, Deadly Onces. Yeah.